everyone, today we're going to talk about deck ledgers on an ICF building. Hey everyone, it's Cody with Up to Code. Like I said, we're going to talk about deck ledgers on ICF. But don't forget, you got to like and subscribe to these videos. I'm so close to 100,000 subscribers that I need your help just pushing it through there. Also, guys, just quick, in the description of every YouTube video that we have, just check for links, links to swag, uh, merchandise, links to courses that we have available, and just social media, how to get a hold of us. So with that, let's jump into it. So we have a deck attached to this ICF house. Now, underneath here, I wanna point out that the importance of this drip cap right here. So we're gonna get into that, but we're also gonna get into the importance of this drip cap as well. So I'll include photos of various jobs and we've used various uh, building materials, but the concept and the watershed is basically the point that I wanna drive home. And what we do is wherever we have a deck ledger installed, we like to take a piece of the foundation peel and stick or the waterproofing membrane. And we like to make a swipe about that big and that wide all the way around where the deck's gonna go. Now we also make a flap at the bottom so that we can pull that out and tuck building material underneath so that it's all watershed properly. But the reason we like peel and stick in behind is because the deck ledger is fastened to the house and you'd also don't want water, when water gets in behind there, you either have to spacer it, you can do kerf cuts on the back side of the ledger, but that's where hydrostatic pressure and water is gonna try to drive into the house. So the peel and stick in my mind is a way to just keep the water to the outside and let it run out underneath, okay? So after that, you know, you always need a drip cap at the top so that any of the water running down this wall, even if the water is gonna try to capillary back, but it can't go in behind the ledger, it's forced out here and at least it's forced out onto the deck and then it can trickle through. But under here is also really important is because as water drips through and trickles, as water drips through and trickles down this ledger, it always wants, because there's no way for water to break off, it always want to go back in this seam and down and behind your siding. So this drip cap is super important. So water is going to trickle down your ledger in. It can't go anywhere but back out and off the face. Okay, so that's, that's it in a nutshell, guys. Just, it's one of those things. Just because it's ICF and just because the manufacturers tell you that you don't need building paper, you very much do protect the building, make sure that you can't get water in behind your siding halfway through your wall. Cause once it's behind, it's behind forever. So just cause it's ICF and concrete doesn't mean you wanna, you wanna keep the water out no matter what. So let's keep that in mind. Thanks for tuning in. Catch me around.